Today's topic is, Mapping Cardinality. In the last video, we have discussed on the topic, Degree of Relationship. If you haven't seen the video, watch the video from the link in the description box. And today we will discuss on, Mapping Cardinality, or Cardinality Ratio. What is Mapping Cardinality? It represents the number of entities, to which another entity can be associated through a relationship set, in ER diagram. Mapping Cardinality, or Cardinality Ratio can be used for relationship set of any degree, but it is most useful in binary relationship. So, the types and examples that will be shown in this video, are based on binary relationship. Types of Mapping Cardinality There are four types of mapping cardinality. One to one, one to many, many to one, and many to many. Let's discuss these types one by one. First type is one to one relationship. We can define it as, when every entity of the first entity set, can relate to at most one entity of the second entity set, and vice versa, then we can say, the relationship is one to one relationship. Let's take an example. We have taken two entity sets, student, and registration number. Every student of student entity set can have only one registration number. Note that, we have said at most one. So, it is not necessary that every entity have to participate in the relationship. In the example, S3 of student set, and N3 of registration number set, are not related. Can two students have same registration number? The answer is no. Can one student have two different registration numbers? The answer is no. There should be at most one relationship between the entities of the two sets. So, even if there is no participation in the relationship, we can say it is a one-to-one -one relationship. Representation of one-to-one -one relationship. In ER diagram, one-to-one -one relationship can be represented, either by writing one, on both the sides of the relationship set, or by giving arrows on both the sides of the relationship set. Next type is, one-to-many relationship. We can define it as, when every entity of the first entity set, can relate to any number of entities of the second entity set, and any number of entities of second entity set, can relate to at most one entity of the first entity set, then we can say, the relationship is one to many relationship. Let's take an example. We have taken two entity sets, user, and email ID. One user can have more than one email ID. Again, it is not necessary that every user should have multiple email ID, or some users may not have any email ID at all. Can two users have one email ID? The answer is no. We can have, at most n entities of second entity set, related to one entity of the first entity set. That means, if every entity is related to one entity of the other entity set, or even if there is no participation in the relationship, we can say it is a one-to-many relationship. In other words, every one-to-one -one relationship, is a one-to-many relationship, but the converse is not true. Representation of one-to-many relationship. In ER diagram, one-to-many relationship can be represented, either by writing one and n, on the respective sides of the relationship set or by using arrows, on the side representing 1. Sometimes, asterisk is used in place of n. Next type is, many to one relationship. It is just opposite of one to many relationship. Here, any number of entities of the first entity set, can relate to at most one entity set of the second entity set, and every entities of the second entity set, can relate to any number of entities in the first entity set. Let's take the same example. This time, relationship is from email ID set, to user set, 
multiple email ID can be owned by a single user. Again, it is not necessary that every user should have multiple email ID, or some users may not have any email ID at all. Can one email ID be owned by two users? The answer is no. In many to one relationship, at most n entities can relate to one entity of the other entity set. That means, if every entity is related to one entity of the other entity set, or even if there is no participation in the relationship, we can say it is a many to one relationship. In other words, every one to one relationship, is a many to one relationship, but the converse is not true. Representation of many to one relationship. In ER diagram, many to one relationship can be represented, either by writing N and 1, on the respective sides of the relationship set, or by using arrows, on the side representing 1. Sometimes, asterisk is used in place of N. The last type is, many to many relationship. It can be defined as, if any number of entities in first entity set, can relate to any number of entities in second entity set, and vice versa, then we can say it is a many to many relationship. Let's take an example. We have taken two entity sets, teacher and student. One teacher can teach multiple students. And one student can be taught by multiple teachers. It may also happen that, every entity is related to one entity of the other entity set. Even if there is no participation in the relationship, we can say it's a many to many relationship. In other words, every one to many, many to one, and one to one relationship comes under many to many relationship, but their converses are not true. Representation of many to many relationship. In ER diagram, many to many relationship, is represented either by writing M and N on the two sides of the relationship set. Or writing nothing also denotes many to many relationship. Sometimes, asterisk is also used to denote many to many relationship. We can represent the different types of mapping cardinality, using a Venn diagram. As I have said earlier, every relationship comes under many to many relationship. And one to one relationship, is the intersection of, one to many, and many to one relationship. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.